Hey, this is Betty Bear from Betty Bear's Nomadic Travels, and I'm going to take you here to where I'm located this very second is um, Mount St. Helens. And it erupted May 18th, 1980, and I remember that day like it was yesterday. See how beautiful it is in the background? I, I remember it like it was yesterday. Unbelievable. What an unbelievable view. You know, I was saying I, I remember that day like it was like it was yesterday. Um, I lived in a little town called uh, Yelm, Washington, and we grew up there. And I had been married not for very long then. I got married in 1971. But uh, my husband and I were at my dad and mom's house in Yelm. And, of course, we lived in Yelm, too. And uh, we were in the house, and dad comes running in the house, and he says, you know, I think warehouser's on fire. And warehouser's just a huge, 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 they own a just millions of acres of, of tree forests. And um, Dad said, I, I think my warehouse is on fire. So we all run outside in the backyard. We look up in this huge plume of unbelievable, unbelievable smoke, almost like a, like a bomb. And Dad, of course, Dad was in the Army, and he, he said, you know, it's, it's like a bomb went off. And um, that's that day I remember to this very day, Dad coming in and and I said, Dad, that's not a bomb. That's not a bomb. What What the hell is that? Nobody knew. We didn't have a clue. Not a clue what it was. Look how stunningly beautiful that mountain is. Well, half a mountain anyway. I wish you could see what I can see down here. Can you imagine, imagine the devastation? But uh, the days that followed that uh, that May 18th eruption was um, chaos, chaos. It was chaos, and we lived. Uh, Centralia got hit really, really bad. Of course, here the um, the, the little town of uh, Tootle got hit off, obviously really bad because the water came down the Tootle River and and uh, the mud and the lava and the debris came down the Tootle River, and it was devastating to uh, a lot of people. A lot of homes were lost, and, and uh, the ash and the smoke. The ash was so thick, you literally couldn't see, you literally couldn't see seven feet in front of you. You couldn't drive your car, the car, the, the exhaust, I mean, the, uh, the ash that would get inside your car would just do all this damage to all these cars are parked alongside the road everywhere. It was absolutely, I have never in my 65 years seen anything like that, ever, ever. It was just amazing. It was amazing. And, you know, it, we, so many people were, were affected by that. So many people got, to, their homes were destroyed and their businesses were destroyed. And coming up here, it was a, a long, a long road up here, like 50, I think it was 57 miles from the highway to here. And there's nothing here. I mean, even now, 40 some odd years ago, there's, there's nothing here. There's, there's, of course, I'm sure um, COVID had a lot to do with it. But, I mean, there's just nothing down this road except this amazing, amazing mountain that sits just like that. It's just breathtaking. I just, I just can't stop looking at this. I just can't. To stand here and imagine what this thing looked like when it erupted was just something. Well, we're going to take a, a three and a half mile little trek here. And there, as you can see, the trail we're going to go, and it's going to go the back side of this thing. The view is supposed to be even better, so we're going to trek this three and a half miles and and uh, see how things go. But I tell you what, if you guys ever get a chance to come look at this, it's it's well worth that hour hour drive, way up, longer than an hour drive to get here from the highway. It's just just ah, something, just something. We're coming around the corner. I take a little break here. It just doesn't get any beautiful than that.
Right down below here, and I am at a almost a three zoom. You can see that tiny little river right there, and that's the Toodle River. Look how tiny that little thing is. And I guess that was a that was a nightmare. And there's the I just can't I can't show you enough of that. I just if you could see this whole atmosphere here is just almost apocalyptic even 40 years later. Well, this is a three-day weekend, three-day holiday, and, you know, I just figured I would head this direction and, and show you guys Mount St. Helens, and it's, it again is very beautiful, but uh, I didn't get a, didn't get a campsite, so I'm up here at the observation center here, and we're just looking around here, but I didn't get a campsite, so I'm going to um, go back to the tiny house, because I just came to the end of my trail here, I'm back to the tiny house after I show you this last view, make a little something to eat, and I'm going to see if I can find a, find a place to camp, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to, but even if I have to camp along the side of the road, I noticed Along the side of the road, there's quite a few campsites, but oh my gosh, guys. Oh, oh you can't hear it, but there's the Toodle River. Let's see if I can get you in there. I'm going to turn you around. There's the mountain. And... There's the Toodle River. Isn't that something? A tiny little river right there wreaked so much havoc and destroyed, destroyed so much property. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Well, we're coming up to my my tiny house. Kind of parked it on the hill a little bit, but there wasn't much parking here, so you'll see that I do not have my F-150. My f one fifty's in the shop. And I got a few things I need to get handled with it, so my daughter let me borrow her car. So um, I'm not sure what it's going to cost, but about $2,800 is what they were estimating for my my car. And you know, it's uh, that's a lot of money, but in essence, it's not because I, I've done everything and could do every anything to my car that needs to be fixed. I fix it immediately. Um, I get it fixed. So it's in really good shape. It's got low miles and um, it's it's going to be like a new car, you know, even though it's not, and I probably will still have other issues. It's I $60,000, $70,000 for a car. A truck is, is not my budget. So anyway, it's in, uh, it's in the shop. I'm going to go have a little bit of lunch and I think we're going to do one more stop before we go down the, we'll go back to the main drag and see if I can find a place to, to camp tonight. But I think we're going to do one more stop. I think it's going to be interesting. is that other place I wanted to show you to stop at. It's one of the little um, uh, national monuments here too. Let's see if we can get a close up. This is kind of the, let's see, the, uh, the back left side of it. I don't know what you call it left, the back west side of it. Of course you can't see the Toodle River from here, but that's the view I wanted to show you. Can you imagine the lava, the fire and the lava coming off of that thing? I can stand here and look at it and just imagine what it looked like. It's pretty amazing. And if you can look over to the left up here, see if I can get a view of Mount Rainier. Yep, there's Mount Rainier right there. All right. There, there's Mount Rainier. Doesn't have much snow on it this time of the year either. Pretty cool. Both mountains, Rainier. 
on St. Helens. All right, let's go find a place to camp. Well, I didn't find a campsite and I'm back on I-5 and I am at a rest stop, which I absolutely have no trouble at all. I've got my solar, I'm completely self-contained. And, um, you know, and besides the noise of the truckers, which we absolutely need them. I mean, my, my, um, my son-in-law is a trucker and I don't know what we do without him. So anyway, that being said, um, I'm at um, a truck stop. I'm gonna spend the night here and enjoy uh, a little bit of peace and quiet before it gets dark because as soon as it gets dark I'm sure it's not going to be peace and quiet at all but here's my there's my tiny house amongst all the trucks I try to take up as little space as I can and there's plenty of space for all these trucks so um God bless them all God bless them all so anyway I had a great time today I absolutely had a good time so if you if you're still here if you're even here give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and Hit that little bell icon and that gives you an idea when um, another video comes up. And you know, it's uh, it's amazing, it's amazing how my sanity stays intact when I when I see your, your comments. And I get to talk to you guys and I, you know, and all, I mean, I love one of the, one of the videos where I got like broken into, almost broken into, and I was an idiot and I said, oh, I don't have cell service. Well, you're an idiot, Betty, because why would you say that? But I did because... I didn't, I was scared and I, I knew I didn't have self-service. That's why I went to bed at 930. So anyway, that being said, you know, I make these stupid mistakes, but you know, so far my little trailer is so safety proof. And that's going to be one of my videos. So I want to make a video on what I do and the things I do to keep me safe in my trailer, you know, with my, the boot that I have on the tire with the, the, um, the, um, what do you call that thing the oh that right there that that you know with that and when i when i stop somewhere and my locking gas cap and you know all the stuff so i i got i got a lot of things to keep me safe but you know that doesn't mean anything you know when you're silly and you make stupid choices then sometimes things happen and that last video i my gut said ah, maybe i shouldn't stay here maybe i should just come visit hang out for a while and not stay here and you know what that it proved to be right so anyway it's all good but we're good um i'm not sure where i'm going to go tomorrow but i think i you know when you saw we saw the uh the view of of um mount st helens on one side and then we saw uh, mount rainier on the other side i love that so i think because there's hardly no snow on mount uh, mount rainier i'm a little worried about that and of course we all are but um anyway i think i'm going to go to mount rainier tomorrow but not sure but if i do i'll take you along Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much.